Hey, Beans! Animal Gem soundtrack is quite amazing. If you haven't realized that by now, you are in for a shock with this video. But today I have compiled my 10 favorite songs from Animal Gem because I've been playing this game a long time, and a lot of these really mean a lot to me and are just really good songs. So anyways, Beans, I hope you enjoy the top 10 songs of Animal Gem. Number 10 has to be Hidden Falls. It's just so beautiful yet adventurous at the same time. It really makes me want to do the adventure, and the fact that it's single player makes it seem very, very epic, and it can take these silly little phantoms that you're fighting and like playing a kid's game and turn it into this really kind of cool adventure-like thing rather than just another Super Mario jumper. I have to say I'm a big fan of the sound overall of this piece especially. The instrumentation is just so good and it seems adventurous yet beautiful at the same time with a combination of bells and strings and just beautiful stuff going on. Number 9 is the music from Claws and Paws. It's just so cute and innocent, you just have to love it. I mean, surrounded by all these cute little beans and then have this cute music playing that also has this amazing ambience of all the dogs barking and, you know, cats meowing and stuff like that. It's just a very heartwarming kind of thing to listen to, and it really brings back memories of adopting my first pet way back when, when the pets first came out, and they were still totally random as to how they looked. Stuff like that. It's just such a good, nostalgic song, and if you don't like it for the nostalgia, well, it's just plain cute. Number 8 has to be Spider Zapper. It's just so intense, it makes you want to go zap as many spiders as possible, and it brings back memories of when I had my neighbor over and we tried to complete a thousand levels of Spider Zapper, then got to about round 300 and got really bored and listened to this music over and over and over for a series of hours and just wasted a Saturday afternoon. So I have to say, Spider Zapper is quite intense and I honestly should be using it in more of my conspiracy videos because this thing is just awesome. Frankly, this is just such a good mini-game song. I think it's awesome that Animal Gym puts in so much effort into soundtracks like Phantom Fighter and Sky High and Spider Zapper and makes them so good even though they're not as big of parts as the game. As some of the awesome soundtracks like Serapy Forest and Temple of Zeus, they still put in so much effort into these little things, which is so crucial for minigames, because oftentimes in minigames you're just doing the same thing over and over, and by adding kind of a new dynamic, by adding cool music, well, they don't seem so repetitive and they can actually be really fun. Number 7 is the music from the art studio. I don't think many people have ever really noticed this because a lot of the time when you go to paint, well, you turn off the Animal Gym sound because you're going to turn on your own music once you start painting. But if you actually listen, it's a very calming version of the Animal Gym melody and it's actually so beautiful when you listen closely. They take it and then they add some kind of classical twists to it and they have some weird chord resolutions and some just amazing ways that they play around with the melody and make it very beautiful and calming and a little less hustle and bustle like it is in Jamaa Township. So I think this is an amazing reimagining of the Jamaa Township music. Number six is the Pet Parade. I'm honestly not sure where this one plays. I believe it's one of the pet parties, but I have never been able to figure it out. I've never been able to place it. And I don't think it's one that we hear enough, because as far as I know, it's only shown in parties, and not that many people go to these parties, and these parties aren't even on that often. So, I feel like we all miss out on this cute little tune that I just love so much. Not to mention, it makes a great Den music addition, because it seems kind of natural, but at the same time, it's very upbeat. It's got that chill vibe of one of the AJ Melody kind of songs, but it's also got that really cool naturistic ambience vibe that a lot of the songs give you, so it's a very good balance, especially for those small house nature dens we all love making. Number five is the Bittersweets music. Oh yes, this is some juicy stuff. I just love the Bittersweets music. The crow cawing in the background gets a little annoying after a while, but the, the whole vibe around the entire thing is just so worth it. It makes my conspiracy videos so much more fun to do because it really just gives this sense of like creepy animal gym music. I mean, we have spooky old bones, sure, but in reality, spooky old bones really isn't that spooky. And to actually have, you know, a spooky song is kind of cool, and this one, definitely spooks me out sometimes. And I love the kind of like, like this creepy little harp in the background. It's just so beautiful. And it fits the whole Bittersweets adventure so well. This song has gotten me into the Halloween spirit for so many years. Number four is one that I don't even think anyone has heard, I swear. No one has heard this one. This one's like my favorite. Okay, well, it's my fourth favorite, as you can tell from the list. 
But the Bunny Burrow song from the Return of the Phantoms adventure is amazing. It's just so calming and beautiful. It almost reminds me of like a Pokemon song to some extent. I don't know why, but it has a little bit of that 8-bit vibe of like that beautiful 8-bit melody back from Pokemon days. And also it really just reflects this amazing escape because the Bunny Burrow is this one place where you don't have to deal with phantoms in this adventure. And it's just this cute homely little place before you go back out into the wilderness. So it's just so awesome. It reminds me so much, I'm not sure why, of going into one of those little houses and like learning a TM move or whatever in the old Pokemon games. Number three is just Jam Session. Uh, you all know it. You all know how amazing Jam Session is. It's such a good song. I remember the first time I heard it, I thought it was like an actual song. So I looked it up and then I found it online and I actually would like listen to it on YouTube because I liked it so much. It's just, it's got a really chill vibe to it and it fits the whole idea of a Jam Session very well. When I first heard Animal Jam was making like a rock music themed party, I was like, hmm, I don't know how the music is going to be for this one. But I found myself going back over and over and over just because the music was just so good for the whole scene. I really enjoyed it, honestly. And it's also awesome that you can actually buy all the instruments that are used in the song and start your own band. And of course, the fact that you can buy this for your own den is a huge plus. Oh, and also this bomb guitar solo that's coming up. Just enjoy this. Number two would have to be Crystal Reef. This song is so good. It's just, it's so chill. That's all it is. It's not emotional enough to get number one, but it's just such a beautiful, simple melody that you can just play over and over and over. I know I downloaded it just to use it in my videos, not even just because it's from Animal Jam, but because it's just such a cool, chill song. And it really is a shame that some of the best music is stuck in places like Crystal Reef, where no one is really visiting on a routine basis because, well, they're underwater, or they're like random parties, or they're small rooms within a random party, or something like that. But I think the Crystal Reef music is awesome, and I'm going to try to use it a little more in my videos from now on, because it's really just awesome. And number one has to be the Jamal Day Jam. I have had conversations with multiple jammers about how amazing Jamal Day Jam is. Like, I have talked with multiple people who listen to Jamal Day Jam outside of Animal Jam around Christmas time because it's just so good. It's just such a good Christmas song. I mean, yeah, we have like winter dance and these weird, like childish ones, but this one is just so beautiful. And it brings back so many memories of like 2012 when I first got my Arctic Wolf on Christmas and then I got a spike the exact same day listening to the Jamal Day Jam the entire time because it was Christmas time and like it was playing all throughout Jamal. It was just, it brings back so many amazing memories and is also just such a beautiful little tune and adds so much ambience and vibes. The most important thing for me in terms of Animal Jam and video game music in general is that it stays in the background in general and you're not consumed by it but also that it's a little bit of a good melody if you listen to it. So whether you want to use it as background music or you want to use it as actual music to listen to, it can play both roles, but it's not overly obtrusive on either side. And this song does it perfectly. It's so emotional, yet the bells and the snow kind of feel really make it a good background kind of thing where you don't really have to pay attention to it and you can still have a chat with your buddy without being distracted by it. It's so good. I just love the Jamal Day Jam song so much, and it makes me excited for Christmas every single year. So anyways, Beans, there you go. Thank you so much to all the people like the one and only something in the Animal Jam soundtrack who upload these songs onto YouTube. That is so helpful and it helps me so much with my videos. And if you haven't checked it out already, go ahead and check out some of those channels because they have some of the best Animal Jam music on there. And of course, if you think I missed an Animal Jam song, please leave a comment because I'm really interested what kind of music you guys like on Animal Jam. I really don't know. But anyways, Beans, I think that just about wraps up today's video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.